Hi Libra and welcome to When Twin Flames Reunite Timeless Tarot Reading. This is a tarot reading that was suggested by a viewer named Star Sapphire. So if you enjoy this reading, be sure to send her some love and gratitude as well. Um, what she said is that there's a lot of information out there about when twin flames are disconnected from each other but not so much about when they actually reunite and you know all the things that happen and the struggles that you experience and how to navigate those energies because you know even if you love somebody you break up you both are experiencing and living your life so when you come back together what you have is something brand new even though you still have this bond so even though you love each other it, you know it can be challenging so that's what this tarot reading is about is how to work through those energies once you and your twin flame have reunited and so I have your card here Libra uh, justice representing you and I thought it would be fun to add in um, I'm gonna pull this is all the other zodiac signs and this is a general reading so it does not exclude any other zodiac sign as your twin flame but to make this a bit more special I thought that I would pull one card for another zodiac sign um, and I leave that up to spirit as to who needs that extra confirmation that this reading is for them so extra strong reading for you if this is your twin flame all right let's see we have Aquarius because we have the stars so those Libras out there that are reuniting with your Aquarian twin flames you will probably find this reading very significant and it will probably resonate strongly again I want to stress that does not include exclude any other zodiac sign it's just that spirit felt there's a viewer out there with an Aquarius twin flame that needed that extra confirmation so what I believe about um, when twin flames come together and then they separate and then reunite at some point there is a level where you meet on one dimension and then when you disconnect you go through some changes and then you reconnect on another dimension and these tarot cards here are a beautiful representation of that multi-dimensionality of you know our human existence as well as the tarot so basically the story of the twin flame is the ones that come together and disconnect here we are with the ace of cups okay but it comes under the guise of the moon. So there is much hidden. All looks beautiful and peachy, but that is not necessarily the case, okay? And through this connection under the moon, the sun is beginning to rise and we feel the bond with one another and there's love, okay? And time passes and here we are now in the lover's energy and on this side, of this card we're recognizing the incompatibilities the sun is high in the sky okay so here we meet we fall in love under the moonlight and the stars the sun is starting to rise you know we're recognizing the bond but now the sun is high in the sky and you know we now see how we are incompatible and it's we're trying to work through our differences because again there's this very beautiful strong bond like an angel has brought us together okay and now we transition through time over here to the ten of cups we've had a lot of experiences together we love each other very much but we have not been able to figure out how to temper these incompatibilities and the reason why is because we're meant now to part ways and separate from each other for a time okay this brings great shock to us and it really shakes up our foundation and changes who we are 
and there's a period of deep mourning and great sadness okay and you come over here to this ten of swords and if you look at this who could possibly survive this attack this many swords piercing the armor and see that's just it my dear Libra is your twin flame has that special sword as you have that special sword that can penetrate your armor and this shell this version of you has to go it's part of your destiny so that is what this intense pain is all about and it moves you into this hanged man position um, in regards to your twin flame where now you know there's distance there's delay there's blockage we've got to come into a completely new understanding of ourselves of this relationship okay but I would like you to notice here we transition from one into two all right but over here as we have to make our exit we go from 10 to 8 and to me this is where the twin flames as they depart each other they each take a cup with them not fully letting the relationship go that's why it's the eight of cups there as we move on okay so <clears throat> time passes and we are separated from each other and now we're starting to see our hand in the situation we're starting to understand why things played out the way that they did and we come to the other side of this card and we recognize something you know that version of ourselves had to go okay there was uh, no real stability or longevity in that energy and you notice that there's an eclipse of the sun well when there's an eclipse of the sun it's not the death of the sun it's just a moment of darkness right and we see that here um, depicted with the sun and the moon that eclipse energy it's just a momentary darkness because we flip the card over and now we see that we're coming into a new understanding we're returning to the place of the inner child and that's not being a child that's energy of purity that hasn't been tainted by experience it's looking through the eyes of your soul at what you shared what has been and what will be and the recognition that you know the ending was only a new beginning because now you are no longer illusioned by this guise of the moon okay you see things for what they are and you're like now what how do I move forward what is the next step here because um, this is the sphinx and the the chariot is associated with these two sphinx, sphinx um, in this deck and it's washed upon the shore it's wrecked so the uh, initial victory you know the the connection here that has now washed away and the two of you went on your own journey and you both moved through these emotions okay come to this place here so that leads us into the understanding that our love was actually written in the stars okay this is such a gorgeous card to me I just oh, I can't take it in enough this is true soul recognition and connection unconditional love that is now as we return back to the relationship where we realize the end was actually the chance for a new beginning we return the two cups and bam this is the energy that we move into and now the love is in the full sunlight okay there is nothing hidden we now recognize each other 100% as twin souls, twin flame. As you see the star above, it's, this is the actual card in the description of that twin flame energy. Okay, And as we come together in that recognition, now we've tempered ourselves. We recognize our differences and now we flow with each other opposed to bucking the current. So it's a very beautiful journey the twin flame love and you know trust that 
the disconnection and the coming back together was always what was meant to be so you guys could become somebody completely brand new and you know when we reunite it's the real deal the the love is on a level it's gone up that dimension okay as you see here look at the difference in energy it's a dimensional shift uh, when you reunite so that is the story of the twin flame love so Libra, let's pull your cards personally and see how this story is playing out for you. And I give that story just, you know, so that to add, again, the dimension, uh, the different dimensions of that experience of the twin flame connection, okay, and why we separate from each other. So Libra, let's see what energy Overall is the theme when you and your twin flame reunite. All right, look at that. Nice. You're going to love this because you're a Libra. <laughs> we have balance. So when we reunite, we are both in a place where we want to give equally we want to be interdependent rather than codependent we want a beautiful union of equality perfect give and take a lot of spiritual growth has definitely taken place in your absence of one another this is just an awesome card as your overall energy um, reuniting with each other but you know if it were only that easy, right? So let's take a look at what your biggest insecurity is, Libra, way of reuniting with your twin flame and what their biggest insecurity is in reuniting with you. the forces of nature favor you this being your insecurity and fear is like you're like this is too good to be true or I just things don't work out for me like this I just you're very insecure that it's going to last and work out and it's like the real deal that it's fully solid this time around okay and your twin flame is coming through, and I am not surprised, Libra. They feel you are not speaking all your emotions, everything that exists within you. Probably this energy here of I'm really scared that this isn't going to work out. Not that there's not the love, but I'm just scared. Okay, so your twin flame is feeling like there's a lot that, that you hold back, that you keep within, that you... Don't express this could be directly um, related to them or it could be just about everything in general like you really just hold back and you don't share everything and that makes them nervous and insecure because you know they don't know fully what's going on what's the big picture here so what is the remedy um, to these insecurities and fears that you both have um, as you reunite with one another. Resurrection. Do you see that, Libra? You, the sadness and pain that you experienced um, during this departure you need to trust that that was part of the path in this. There is a true resurrection of this love coming together, okay? This isn't just like April Fool's or just playing. No, this is real. It, it's balanced, okay? And you need to really have, like, let it go. This is, you know, let's see what comes out for them. Look at that. <laughs> 
Enchanted Forest, Mystery, Magic, Excitement. <laughs> so this is very interesting coming out with that. This is saying that your twin flame sees you as so mysterious, like, but they're willing to accept that and just to be with you, okay? Like, they love the mystery about you as much as it might drive them crazy, but, oops, sorry about that, I hit my elbow on the table. Um, they accept the mystery of you, the way that, you know, you are a bit elusive and don't put everything out there because they feel such a magical connection with you. You know, the, the emotion that you invoke in them and trigger within them, nobody else does. Like, they're really all about you. And, you know, you just, it's like hard for you to get on board with that. Like, you're like, I just don't know. You want to, you love them, but you're scared of like that other shoe dropping. So let's pull your, oh, nope, we're not there yet. Sorry, I was trying to jump ahead. See, Libra, maybe you're trying to jump ahead. Don't jump ahead, okay? So let's pull some Romance Angel to get a little bit of information about this reunitement. We have Worth Waiting For and Release Your Ex. Very interesting. So this adds another uh, dimension to the reading itself. Um, one of you was dealing with a karmic relationship in, during this absence from each other. Or perhaps both of you were. Okay. And um, I think that's where the, a lot of what you're experiencing <laughs> is coming from. Like, you know, if your twin flame, if they were the one playing out this, you know, in this karmic relationship, you're like, are you really over that? Is Are you open for me? Are you really here 100% for me? Okay. Um now, on the flip side of that, for some of you, this could be where, you know, it was you dealing with some sort of karmic relationship. And for whatever reason, like, that kept you from being with your twin flame. And, you know, no matter what the circumstances around this right here, you have to trust that that was part of the plan. And you guys separating was divine when you guys come back together is divine and when you come back together trust in it let the past go you're in a different place now it's a different dimension of your twin flame experience when you reunite so this is really like let the past go whatever whatever happened it doesn't matter anymore it doesn't Libra let it go um, maybe they need to let it go you guys are in a different dimension of experience now and you're meant to come back together and be together in a beautiful balance of energy so let's take a look at your emotional energy and your twin flames emotional energy in this reunitement ah, it is truly your wish to be with them and only them that's your like them being in your arms again is like your wish come true oh my gosh have no fear Libra this is their emotional energy for you this is the ace of cups this is I love you I love you they don't want to be with anybody but you let's look at uh your guys' spiritual energy for each other. Yeah, that's it right there. But look at this. Very defensive, Libra. 
Here's that fear coming into play. Yeah, no, and here, look at them. They're the six of flames. You're the seven, they're the six. Nope, they are all about you. It's like, you need to look at it this way, Libra. If they had all these other options, this is you. You are the one. There is nothing more than you. Like, they choose you. No question. They only hold a torch for you. It's not to say that they don't have love for other people that they have been with in their life. But you need to look at how much bigger that is compared to those other flames. Okay? You are the one. Especially this Ace of Cups. I feel like Libra is, um, you know, this is general. But the strongest message coming through is where Libra, um, like, you you're scared of them like they were with somebody else they had the karmic relationship going on and you're just very insecure of yes they're really true blue about you this time around that's the strongest message okay so let's see what needs to be healed in you in them as you guys proceed forward in your reunitement with each other yeah, I think balance comes out to let you know, like, it's equal this time. Archangel Michael, I am grateful for the strength and courage Archangel Michael brings into my life. So, yeah, this is saying, yeah, you have been through a lot, Libra. But it's time to let the past go, and you have the strength within you to do that, and you can reach out to the non-physical realm to help disconnect any energetic ties you feel you still have um, connected to the past. Because um, it's just, or maybe even for some of you, this is like where you left your twin flame to be with somebody you thought was your twin flame, and then you've come into the recognition, no, that's who it was. And you just have a lot of um, connection to this person from the past. Like they want, they are connected to you, not so much that you want to be with them. Um, again, with Archangel Michael here, you can cut those energetic cords. However, that needs to take place for you. And then this here is the sacral chakra. So this here is... Uh, they need healing in their second chakra. This is all about passion, creativity, sexuality, um, your feelings. Okay, so your twin flame needs healing in that sacral chakra area. Um, that could be a whole number of things. It could be that they need to feel more secure in who they are. Um, it could be if you, you know, weren't faithful to them in the relationship, like, they have concern about that. Or if they weren't faithful, you know, it's just there is an imbalance in their second chakra somehow, some way. And um, them balancing that will help them overcome their fear as you letting the past go will help you overcome your fear. So let's see what lies ahead for the two of you as you move forward in your reunitement with each other. We have a rigid Libra. I feel like this is more you. I just have to say that. Don't hate. I'm rising Libra, so I understand how stubborn and fixed the Libran energy can be, especially when we're not sure which way to go, okay? It's like, nope, I'm just going to turn into a stone right here, and I'm not movable. So, there's some of this energy here. Hmm. <laughs> but there is amazing passion between the two of you, my God. And I love that this is what has come out here. Yes, conclusion. 
this Libra is saying you really let the past go that is done a new entire book has been has been opened and is beginning for you and your twin flame it's it's not a new chapter it's a whole damn new book so you need to let the past go whatever this really fixed energy is like maybe you're not giving in fully to your true emotions um, that you're feeling for the twin flame here okay but let this wall down this is I have a wall built up and we need to let this down but I feel like this comes in time through the reconnection okay and it's like the flame is reignited and you recognize this is a brand new book we have a whole new story that we're about to live okay again we have shifted dimension in our love okay what is depicted in this ten of cups right here so let's get some advice for Libra um, in regards to their twin flame and the reconnection and how to navigate through any challenging energies Right, so we have awareness. Change your programming. And divine connection. Look at that. Yeah, and look at love, fire, reignition, as I said, right there. Libra, you need to put your awareness into the now. Um, this is big time, like, we've got to let the past go, 100%, no matter what. Like, it, we're in a whole new book with this twin flame, and it is and it is fair and equally connected. They very much love you and want you, okay? They do. You have the divine connection here. There's no more confirmation needed of twin flame right there. Look at that that is your advice okay so whatever it is about this past let it go and you know um see what you can do to help your twin flame with this sacral chakra and the healing that needs to take place there but there's nothing to fear this is beautiful reunitement that I feel is meant to just carry you to the end of your day is like it's a whole new book for you guys a whole new experience entirely so that is your reading Libra I hope that you have found this helpful I'm wishing you all the best with you and your twin flame take care